through the roof. Likewise, we are a nation where energy costs have reached the highest in our history. We are no longer energy independent or energy dominant like we were just a few short years ago. We are a nation that is begging Venezuela and many others for oil. Please, please, please help us, Joe Biden says. Yet we have more liquid gold right under our feet than any other country. We are a nation that is consumed by the radical left's Green New Deal, yet everyone knows that the Green New Deal is fake and will lead to our country's destruction. We are a nation whose leaders are demanding all electric cars. Even though they can't go far, they cost too much, and whose batteries are produced in China with materials only available in China, when an unlimited amount of gasoline is available inexpensively in the United States, but not available in China. We are a nation that ended oil exploration and production in the U.S. just as the price of oil reached an all-time high. What other country would do such a thing? How could anybody be so foolish? We are a nation that surrendered in Afghanistan, leaving behind dead soldiers, American citizens, and $85 billion worth of the finest military equipment anywhere in the world. And we are a nation that allowed Russia to devastate a country, Ukraine, killing hundreds of thousands of people. And it will only get worse under this leadership. It would never have happened with me as your president. And for four straight years, it didn't happen. And China with Tor is next. That's right. China with Taiwan is next. Watch. We are a nation that has weaponized its law enforcement against the opposing political party like never before. We've got a Federal Bureau of Investigation that won't allow bad election-changing facts to be presented to the public, and which offers $1 million to a writer of fiction about Donald Trump to lie and say it was fact, where Hunter Biden's laptop from hell was Russian disinformation, and the FBI knew it wasn't. But 51 intelligence agents said it was, and they knew it wasn't also. And the Department of Justice that refuses to investigate egregious acts of voting irregularities and fraud. And we have a man who is totally corrupt and the worst president in the history of our country, who is cognitively impaired and in no condition to lead and is now in charge of dealing with Russia and possible nuclear war, which would be World War III, and far more devastating than any of the previous wars because of the weaponry that no one even wants to think about. There is nothing like the weaponry of today. It will destroy everything. We are a nation that no longer has a free and fair press, Fake news is all you get, and they are the enemy of the people. They refuse to discuss the Biden crime family, but enjoy covering false indictments of Donald Trump, who has done absolutely nothing wrong, and almost all pundits say so. We are a nation where free speech is no longer allowed, and where crime is rampant and out of control like never, ever before. We are a nation that is allowing Iran to build a massive nuclear weapon and China to use the trillions and trillions of dollars it has taken from us to build a military to rival or surpass our own. And less than three years ago, we had Iran, China, Russia, and North Korea in check. They weren't going to do a thing against us, and everyone knows it. They respected us. And they respected your leader. Now Russia and China 
are holding summits to carve up the world. And perhaps most importantly, we are a nation that is no longer respected or listened to on the world stage. We are a nation that in many ways has become a joke. We are a nation that is hostile to liberty, freedom, and faith. We are a nation whose economy is collapsing into a cesspool of ruin, whose supply chain is broken, whose stores are not stocked, whose deliveries are not coming, and whose educational system is ranked at the bottom of every single list. We are a nation where large packs of sadistic criminals and thieves are allowed to go into stores and openly rob them, beat up and kill our workers and customers, and leave with armloads of goods, but with no retribution or retaliation, where the authority of our great police has been taken, and they are great, and where their families and pensions have been threatened, and their lives would be destroyed for the mere mention of the words law enforcement. We are a nation where fentanyl and other forms of illegal drugs are easier to get than formula for our beautiful little babies. A nation whose once revered airports are dirty. They're a crowded mess. You sit and wait for hours and then are notified that the plane won't leave and they have no idea when it will where ticket prices have tripled. They don't have the pilots to fly the planes. They don't see qualified air traffic controllers anymore. And they just don't know what they're doing. We are a nation that has lost its confidence, lost its willpower, and lost its strength. We are a nation that has lost its way. But we are not going to allow this horror to continue. Three years ago, we were a great nation, and we will soon be a great nation again. It was hardworking patriots like you who built this country, and it is hardworking patriots like you who are going to save our country. 2024 is our final battle. With your support, this primary, we are going to finish what we started. With you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists. We will throw off the slick and very sick political class that hates our country, and we will rout the fake news media, we will defeat crooked Joe Biden, and we will drain the swamp in Washington, D.C. once and for all. Like those great patriots before us, we will not bend, we will not break, we will not yield, we will never give in, we will never give up, we will never, ever back down. Together, we will complete the mission. We will cross the finish line. We will rescue freedom, liberty, and justice and propel that spirit of July 4th, 1776. We will win a righteous and magnificent victory on November 5th, 2024. The great silent majority is rising like never before. Nobody has ever seen this before, ever, ever, ever. These record crowds are massively before the election. Nothing like this has ever happened in our country and probably any other country either. But under our leadership, the forgotten men and women will be forgotten no longer. We are one movement, one people, one family, and one nation under God. And together, we will make America powerful again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America 
safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you.